talk about Donald Trump's 2017 Phoenix, Arizona rally speech announced. So this speech by the 45th President of the United States, Donald Trump, is addressed in August 22nd. 2017 in Phoenix, Arizona after his inauguration in January. He is lambasting his critics while protesters are gathered outside the venue. And the 77-minute speech castigated two Arizona's Republic senators. He pumped out the widespread criticism of his remarks on the clashes of Charlottesville. Moreover, he hinted that he, he hinted his plans to pardon Sheriff Joe and to threaten to shut down the government just to fund the Mexican border war. And he later talks about immigration law, increasing domestic demand, and how the media is banned. And the first rhetorical code passes. I love the people of our country, the people, all of the people. And this part of, of the speech was, uh, uses pathos to evoke the feeling of being loved by the president. When he says all of the people, many Americans, his supporters will be stimulated and feel rewarded for supporting him. Furthermore, his, his hand is making a circle while saying all of the people. And this makes the audience feel like they are included in the people he loves. And the second appeal is logos. He, he uses statistics to back himself up. According to pre President Trump, there are millions of jobs created since his office and his election was both one by two million, and the unemployment rate is at the lowest in the, la in the last 17 years. He's persuading the people that he's credible and worth believing and supporting. And here's the first rhetor rhetorical device, which is medical. And they have little George Stephanopoulos talking to Nikki Haley, like little George. And later on, Trump is mentioning one of his critics. ABC News anchor George. He put, put his hand, hands down low to brainwash the audience that George is little and sneaky. The association of little and George formulates immediately. And the second device is parallelism. It groups, but the media turns a blind eye to the gang <coughs> violence on our streets, the failures of our public school, the destruction of our wealth at the this parallelism is, is used to criticize the news media. The media turns a blind eye on the gang violence on our streets, the failure of our public schools, and the destruction of our wealth, indicating where and what the media did wrong, and that is misleading Americans. And the third device is loaded language, and here's two clips. Floods, the drugs, the gangs, the cartels, the crisis of smuggling and trafficking, And I withdrew the United States from the job-killing Paris Climate Accord. And these two clips included both loaded language and Trump uses the phrase fake, fake and crooked news to describe the media and mentions the lost life, the drugs, the cartels, the crisis for smuggling and trafficking that are caused by the media. This wording is heavy and correlating to bad and horrible stuff. He was an iconic pause and accentuation. They said that he withdrew the United States from the, uh, from the job killing Paris Climate Accord. And, re and that is responsible for 2.7 million job losses. And the evaluation and criticism of this speech. Through the chance of his supporters, we can see that most of his use of rhetorical appeal device work is effective. For example, after Trump criticizes CNN, the crowd chants CNN sucks, proving that he did his job to deliver that CNN is the bad news. After mocking his critics, the crowd starts ruling, showing his effectiveness in persuading the audience. And last but not least, he uses the device when he wants to emphasize or indoctrinate an opinion or statement regarding the media or his critics or to address his supporters. However, if he could pro provide logic and statistic-based comments, it would make his speech more perfect. And here are my citations.